All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Let's kick off a brand new week with some rankings proof using only AI. Now, as you guys know, what my take right now is or what my experience with building niche websites with AI, it wasn't the best. Some of you had said that it might be too early to throw in the towel on the gardening site. We will see what ends up happening with that site, but I'm not really going to be putting any focus on that site right now, at least in the next like few weeks. But I have been testing more tools out and I have some cool ideas. But what I wanted to show you in this video is how we actually ranked our content. And I actually have some content that ranked in 24 hours. So the headline, I could have made it even more quote unquote catchy or clickbait, but I didn't want to do that. We have some rankings to show you. I have three rankings to show you from uh, last week. And one of them, I actually grabbed a ranking spot within 24 hours of uh, publishing my content for a review uh, type keyword um, on a site. My LearnWire Pro site has no authority, no SEO done to it, and no backlinks. But super cool stuff. In this video, I'll be going over my recent results using the two AI tools below. It's actually three uh, tools below. So we have my Blogify, and that's not new. It's on AppSumo. We'll go check out that real quick as well. But this one was Blogify. Someone had give, given me some access to it. I might try a couple more blog posts out with it. I woke up today and saw rankings for it. So that's always fun, and that's always exciting. Rankings really quick inside of seven days, inside of a week with AI content. That is pretty dang cool. So I want to keep our eye on Blogify. Then we have KW Hero. This is a keyword research tool plus a uh, content optimization tool plus a content AI content creation tool. What makes KW Hero unique among most other AI, I'll just say most, right? We know there's other AI tools out there that you can choose to use only GPT-4, but and we know that it costs an arm and a leg. A couple of them that come to mind, Koala, Agility Writer, and so forth. But KW Hero, is it only uses ChatGPT-4. So I like that, that they're, you know what you're getting and they're upfront with it right off the bat. And that's why the pricing is so high, if you will. <clears throat> they're aiming at customers that want the highest quality AI content. And so if that's the case, then that's why they know they can't just charge pennies for each article. I did some testing though. My I hooked up my API key to Keyword Hero and I was an, able to write an article. I think it was a 1500 word article. I was able to write it for 13 cents. So cost really isn't an issue when it comes to it. But I like a, a tool like this that is another tool like this would be ZimWriter where you're paying for the like the vehicle, but you got to put the gas in it and putting the gas in it is uh, paying for the open AI credits. But now we're looking at pennies per article. <clears throat> and it's really cost becomes not really an issue. KW Hero, you can go watch my I've made a couple videos on that already. Go check those out. I made those last week, I did a full review on it and so forth. We're going to continue testing it out and then learn wire GBT. I did create a video a couple weeks ago, how I created my custom learn wire GBT in chat GBT and it is actually the article that ranked in 24 hours. It was actually from LearnWire GPT. Out of these ones, the one that I'm most interested and excited about a little bit is the custom GPT because it's completely loaded. Let me come out over here real quick. And I'm going to go to chat GPT and I can just show you a, just a sneak peek of it. When we come over here into chat GPT and we go and look at my GPTs, all these ones I'm using over here, but it should be right over here, LearnWire to blog post. So it's just a simple blog blog post creator that is going to use. And this one is a private one, right? But essentially what I do is I go and I grab my transcript from my video and I paste it in here and then it creates it. But there's a lot more going on in the background. And that's what makes GPTs fun because now we no longer have to copy and paste our prompts and do a bunch of different fiddling around with it. We can actually just get right to work. So you can see all the stuff that I put in here. We have this GPT is completely trained on my brand. I've given it some YouTube summaries for it as well. So it knows my tone of voice, well, the way that I do my reviews and so forth. And then we come in here and we really start getting into talking about what we want the AI to do. Don't always use the most natural words. Use the following words, fewer or less. I've uh, loaded this uh, just a few days ago. I, I've actually loaded this with some of 
Matt Diggity's recent prompts that he shared on one of his recent videos. If you go and sign up to Matt Diggity's uh, email list, you'll uh, end up getting that free gift from him where he has all these really cool prompts to help make your content better, your AI content from ChatGBT better. So go check that video out. And all this part right here. So this whole part right here, I got from basically Matt Diggity. So I'm Im implementing that as well. And then we have ensure that the content writes strictly adheres to the author's writing. I think that part was that part as well. Well, add a quote. So I added this, add a quote in italics at the end of my review. That is one to two sentences because I liked this. I believe uh, Blogify did that at the very end. I thought it looked really cool. And so I'm just adding one quote right there. I think it's cool. Anything that you can do that changes up a normal software, AI software is really good. And then we come over here, write in markdown formatting H1, H2, H3. So being very specific, the only downside of my GPT is I do need to fiddle around with maybe specifying a hundred words on each one of these and seeing if it uh, can do any better right now we're we only get around a 500 word to 600 word article each time and right now that's one of my only like complaints or whatever is with using chat gpt is that it just does not pump out long form content very well it's also not really doing lsi keywords and so there, we would have to have a, add a whole another process to do research on the keyword research or on the NLP or LSI keywords. So we don't really have that going on, but, and then we have over here, when I talk about pricing of the software, it make a table for it. I don't think it's really implementing that part. So uh, out of this big giant GPT right here, I'm at my max to, you only get, uh, what is it? 8,000 credits or uh, characters. I'm at my max right over here. If we wanted to add more, we would need to take, we'd have to upload our knowledge base right there. That's pretty good lengthy prompt right there, and it's uh, produced some good content. Let's go look at what you guys came here to see, which is going in here to SERP Robot. This is where I do all my testing and all my tracking. It's just one of those things that just works, it, and it's I love the setup of this. I've been using it for years now. So we're going to go over here to LearnWire Pro website, and you can see I've only been tracking like 10 articles so far, but we can come down here to the KW Hero right over here, and if I go and hover over what my tag was, it actually was from Blogify. So we have Blogify right here, and if Brett's watching this, which I'm sure he will, he'll probably be pretty interested or impressed, or I, I don't know if he was ex if he would be expecting for it to rank so quickly, but it did rank pretty quickly. So we can actually go click into this. So right now it's currently ranked 47, so we'll go click in here. And this is for my KW Hero review, which this tool is definitely going to be picking up some traffic. It's hard to get measurements on how much traffic like obviously the seo tools have not picked this up yet so there's not going to be showing right there how how much search volume it has but i like to come over here and look and we'll be able to see that blogify we published it on february 29th so there's one day two days three days four days and five days and six so on the sixth day we grabbed a, f a number 47 spot right there we'll continue to keep our eye on that but that's the first ranking and that was blogify i want to keep testing that tool out and then the other one was right over here with my gbt right over here this one's the most impressive i think school review that's going to be very competitive the search volumes already showing up in soft seo tools and, sc and school review is going to be a very tough one to snag i might be going after the youtube one on that one actually i don't think i would even be ranking for it. so i have some really good authority on this channel for software reviews but school review i'm not really sure if I, we're just having some fun right now, just looking at the rankings with AI content. But right over here, I just wanna say school review and just see, am I even a contender anywhere at all? Cause we have some big channels that are ranking and I'm not ranking, I'm ranking like probably 20 or something right there. So we'd wanna try to get that one up and see if we can bring some sales in using that tool or using a ranking on YouTube. But back to the rankings, one take right here. What did I write that one with? We click over here and one take AI review was written with my LearnWire GPT. Built, so building your own GPT might be the way to go. In 2024, I'm going to keep testing these different tools, but mostly heavy on the one take AI reviews. Sorry, mostly heavy on the LearnWire GPT right over here, because this one is specifically trained to my brand and my brand voice and the way that I want it to write. And so that makes sense. That's what and it's it's writing in the tone of voice that I want from a first person's perspective, all those good things, right? What you want. I've trained the AI to do what I want it to do. So this one, when we click over here, very impressive. We can actually go click on the stats button and you can see that right over here, we 
I actually just need to come back in it real quick. One take AI review. I just need to click on it. And then right over here, we can go right over here to the keyword stats. And you can see that we published this on Thursday, February 15th, right? February 15th. I didn't even know. Boom. Right here on February 16th, we had a top 25 review or sorry, top 25 ranking. So we published it here. And then the next day, it was already ranking on page three. And where's it currently at page two, it's on it's ranked number 17, page two, brand new site, uh, super cool uh, site that has no authority. I want to do an update video on some really cool stuff that I've done to my website. I did, in fact, go and update my website. So super, super cool stuff. But that'll be a whole nother topic and a whole nother video for you. Okay, so let's go check out that last one right over here. We're going to go back over here. I think it's under realistic pay. We're going to come back over here and we're going to go into right over here. So KW Hero, when I click on, that means that I used KW Hero. Uh, we'll come back um, over here to KW Hero. And this is KW Hero. You can, uh, I'm at the $69 plan right now, but I hooked up my open API key. And so I'm able to write about 10 articles with that. I've only written one or two articles. And I'm, right now I'm evaluating. They've got a really good rating right here. People are wanting this higher quality. Who knows? Maybe I had this wrong from the start because maybe KW Hero knows that certainly I can support the direction of having the highest quality AI writer and I'm willing to pay for it. And that's the target audience that KW Hero is actually going for. The only way that we can measure if their AI writer is better than others is to put it up against those other ones and see if they have anything better, right? Are they ranking and so forth? And that's why I do these tests for you guys. So right over here, this one is Definitely a keyword that got search volume. I believe that the how to start a wax melt business right here. I wrote this one with KW Hero as well. This is the first article I wrote with it. How to start a wax melt business from home. This one was actually um, the keyword. I got it from, uh, I got this one from KW Hero. But what is a rack card in marketing? I'm pretty sure that I got that keyword. Let me just go into my SE rankings real quick. All right, we'll go look at these. We have, I'm, okay, so what is a rack card in marketing? I got this one from SE Ranking because it, look at a number three right there and it does have traffic. So that's why I chose that one. Now, the other one, we got that keyword, which is a little bit more difficult, I believe. We got this keyword from KW Hero. We know that KW Hero has some things they need to fix with their keyword research, especially the volume level of what they claim is the search volume for keywords. So I got this keyword from SE Ranking. I built trust in using SE Ranking as a keyword research tool over the last year, and I'm, I don't have that trust there, but we are testing their keyword research tool right over here. So this combo worked. What is a rack card in marketing? It gets search volume, and we're ranked. We, we had a number six. 61 ranking right over here and it's currently ranked 78 and this is a brand new ranking we can come over here and i can show you what has happened over the last uh, couple days so this one we posted it on february 28th and then on february 29th it was still nothing and then february or march 1st so on the third day right just in three days we were already ranked number 72 and then it fell off for a day and then we're back to 78 so a, a solid start to a keyword that gets search volume. So did K K KW Hero rank a keyword with search volume? And did it do it in three days? Yes, it did. So I'm gonna keep continuing to track these. You'll want to subscribe, you'll wanna tune in because I wanna see what we can do with this. If we can get it, uh, if it over the next month or two, does it rank higher? And that it might be the separation between this tool and others. We know that uh, you know, I've made several videos of ranking AI content very quickly, right? The fastest that I've done it is same day within hours that's happened before as well but the trick and the key is that after two months does your content stick is it still ranking okay so that's what I'm going to be continuing to monitor obviously the most impressive part for me was in fact my custom GPT that I created specifically for the learn wire brand it brought in a ranking within 24 hours and just within a few days it's ranking on page two at number 17 for a keyword that's going to be gaining momentum this doesn't really load in the system <clears throat> with search volume but we know it's getting search volume we come over here into keyword planner 
One Take AI does register with at least 10 monthly searches. It does have a little a little bit of information about it. So we know that's getting some search volume. We type in One Take AI on YouTube, it's definitely showing a lot more volume. As the popular grows, the popularity grows for a software, obviously they, it's gonna finally start registering these tools. Last couple of things I wanted to just go over here. So if you wanna go pick up KUW Hero or Blogify, I'll leave the links below. So far, I've gotten some rankings with them. Uh, I just wanna come over here to ending soon, it's Monday. Is there anything worth noting right over here that I actually spider now? I reviewed that one, it was solid. It looks like they're ending in 16 hours. I'm gonna go and look over here at anything else. Convey looks like they came back. It's a, a video type software like Loom and so forth. That one looks like it came back. This one's a solid tool, a lot of reviews. So Convey, you might wanna go and check out. Yep is leaving in three days right over here. It's solid. You might wanna go check that out as well. Maker Suite is uh, ending in eight days and they've got good ra ratings and 58 reviews. So that's one I definitely reviewed and I think it's a solid YouTube tool as well. And Magic Book of Fire, I did a couple of videos on that as well. I haven't really kept up with them, but if you wanna write AI books, this is the tool to grab. So you might wanna go check that out and go watch my review on that. So that's pretty much it right there. Will this uh, content keep ranking is the question. It's one thing to grab rankings quickly, but it's another to, it's another thing to make it stick, right? So I'm going to continue testing these exact tools over the next few weeks. I wanna see what I can do or add to make the blogs post better, images, videos, graphics, charts, FAQs, tables, etc. right? That's what we're all trying to do to our content. I think that's the way to go is that you have gotta make your content extremely valuable, add stories, do whatever you can to just not be just spitting out hundreds of AI content. Now that's a strategy and it's working for some people. For me, I, that's what I tried to do with the, the gardening site and it didn't work. Right now, this year in 2020, I'm going to be focusing on my own brands. And of course, I'm gonna be testing some AI tools as well on some of my other sites, but really like the LearnWire brand, I'm gonna be really focusing on creating quality content on that site. And then I'm gonna test some improving of the re readability because and I wanna know if this will impact or improve rankings. From what I understand, readability doesn't necessarily from a technical SEO standpoint to help you rank to page one, but what ends up ha helping you with is when people actually land on your content to read it, the better the readability match for that search intent or search keyword, the better because people will actually stay on your site. If you have a blog article that actually like reads well and a human can actually read it and it doesn't seem like it was just gibberish from AI, then they'll actually read half your article or more. You'll get good quote unquote page time or watch time. And then that will, that's what helps more time on the, that page for that particular term is what's going to end up helping you rank higher. And so that's where they do go hand in hand and re readability. So I might be using Hemingway. I might pay for that pro version and we'll see if we can start improving a little bit of the readability and so forth. So you want to tune in. I've got some really good stuff for you in the next videos and this week. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Actually, so let me know what you guys think, right? Are you guys still excited about AI content in 2024? Do you agree that we need to do more than just putting a keyword in these AI uh, content tools and then going and pasting them into our website and then uh, seeing what happens? That seems to seem to not work. I think we have to do a little bit more now. Or do you think that's just not really, are you just really going to stick with the quantity strategy where you're going to just publish as much AI content as possible? And that's, and we're still right in the thick of that and we're riding the wave of AI content. Uh, or do you think that we're already past that kind of peak of AI blogs surviving and so forth? So it's a very interesting topic. Uh, and the, and really the only answer will be doing it for yourself, doing what I'm doing, testing it for yourself and so forth. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll see you in the next video.